Now, let me tell you about methyl B12. This is uh, short for methylcobalamin, which is a form of vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 is really important for the function of our body, especially the whole uh, central nervous system. And it's something that we can often be deficient in. It's quite famous for uh, vegans to get particularly deficient in vitamin B12, but actually research has shown that a lot of meat eaters also get low in it. So just because you eat some meat, don't think that you're immune to a deficiency in this. So one of the things that B12 deficiency relates to is high homocysteine, which has been indicated as um, a causative factor in a lot of um, illnesses, especially heart disease, which is one of the most common causes of death, of course, in the Western world. So it's something to very much be aware of. Now, the issue of B12 is that a lot of the forms that are available to us aren't actually useful. So we need a type which is called human active B12. Um, there's also something called intrinsic factor, intrinsic factor in our digestion, which we need in order to be able to utilize the B12 that we're getting coming from our diet. And a lot of us kind of have issues with producing enough of that as well. So it's one that's kind of dodgy, you know, it's one that very easily there's several things that could go wrong, like not getting enough from the outside or not being able to digest it, which will mean that we end up with this deficiency. Now, vitamin B12 deficiency takes a long time to show up. It can take decades even sometimes but when it does show up it's so severe and the neurological problems are so severe that a lot of the time it's one of those few deficiencies that we can't repair that we can't reverse because it takes such a long time to show up so this isn't one of those ones where you know necessarily you're going to know that you're deficient until it's far too late of course b12 is also related to energy so it's very famous that people who have low energy one of the things that can make all difference is b12 and the most effective form of all is in the form of a shot like um, intravenously basically but that just isn't practical for most people most of the time so the next best thing is this methyl b12 which comes in a sublingual form which means you basically put it underneath your tongue and you just absorb it that way straight into the bloodstream and it's as effective as you can possibly get without actually having to inject yourself regularly uh, methyl b12 is better than cyanocobalamin which is the more common form because it's a lot more active and usable by the body so this is a perfect way to get a really high quality b12 which you know it's really important to make sure that you have enough of as an insurance policy in a way that's um, easy to utilize easy to absorb and cost effective